Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to Twisted Serenity. Thanks for clicking on my channel. So today we're going out of the seasonal decor and I'm going to bring you guys some farmhouse decor. I really hope you guys enjoy. Now, if you like what you see, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and turn on that bell notification to be notified when I post my next video. So with that being said, sit back and relax or craft with me. Let's get started. Okay, you guys, so for our first one, I have two different shape bowls from Dollar Tree. These are like plastic bowls you guys could get in the wedding section. I'm going to paint them using some Waverly chalk paint in the color white. Now you guys could spray paint them, but I did want to paint it in the with the chalk paint because I like the texture that it gave me. It looked very farmhouse to me. It didn't give me that gloss type feel. So I do paint both of them, and then I have a little mini wood scrap piece of wood. I save all my scraps. And I paint that as well. Now, when every piece, everything is dried, I grab my Fabri-Tac glue and my hot glue as well. And I glue the wood piece onto the weird shape bowl. I'm going to call it a weird shape bowl. That's what I'm going to call it. And it fit perfectly. Then I grab our glue combination again. And then I'm going to grab our round bowl. And I'm going to place it right on top of the wood shape. Making sure that I get it right in the middle of the bowl. As you guys, I don't know if you guys could tell, but I'm making a little mini scale. I made scales before, but this one's different. I wanted to show you guys how I made this one. Now on cardstock, I printed out an, the image of the face of the scale. And I have this like little Tupperware container. And it has like a little tab and I just cut that off. Now I go in with Mod Podge in the inner of the circle. And I am going to Mod Podge down the image of our scale, like the face of our scale. Now, it's too white, so I grab some black acrylic paint, and I'm going to paint around the border of the little face of the scale. I want to give it like that enamel look. Okay, so I want to glue it onto our scale, but it needs something to grip onto, so I just grabbed some craft sticks. I cut them down, and I glue them on to the back of the, the container, and then I am going to glue it onto the face of the scale because since it was like it had like indentation types in in there it wasn't going to grip well to the scale that's why i added the craft sticks now it's time to dirty this thing up because it's too white and i can't have too white <laughs> too much stuff that's like too bright and white so i grab a flat brush with some black paint and i go around the rim of the top of the bowl i go random places around the bottom bowl I go on the wood piece and I do the same thing I do some dry brushing with antique wax so I give it that enamel look with the black and then I give it some distressing with the antique wax and that is honestly it for this one you guys how stinking cute is this I will link down the other scale that I made in the description box because this one's a little bit different and I really love how this one came out let me know what you guys think Okay, you guys, this one's so simple. I got these wood eggs after Easter at Michael's. If you guys can't find these, you guys can use the Dollar Tree Easter eggs, the styrofoam ones. Now I'm going to take out three of them. You guys, I got these for like 70 cents, maybe even less. The only thing is that they don't stand and I want them to stand. So I just grab the bottom of the egg with a piece of sandpaper and I'm just going to sand down the bottom. And that's going to give me like, you know, it's going to indent it to make it standing. And I do this. To three of the eggs now I print out farm fresh eggs using my Cricut you guys could do this with marker and with stickers it's so easy to do and or you guys can even write it on with a chalk marker and I transfer those images right onto the egg I make sure I get them right in the center that they all line up I found it easier to rub it with my finger than the Cricut scraper. You just, you know, just rub it with your finger and it came, the, the, the vinyl came, like the vinyl transfer tape came right off. So easy, so inexpensive and a perfect addition for your farmhouse decor. All right, on the next one, I'm going to grab this little mini rolling pin that I have. And I'm just going to start off by painting the ends with some black apple barrel acrylic paint. So I paint the handles and then I paint the end of the middle of the rolling pin. You know, like the little circle part. You'll see what I'm talking about. You'll see what I'm talking about. 
I make sense in my head, but when I speak in the words, they do not come out right. So I have this piece of scrapbook paper and I'm just indecisive of what side I'm going to use. There we go. Just pick a side already. And I'm just going to measure it down and I'm just going to cut it for the width that I need it. And then I'm going to roll it up just to see like how much I need to wrap it around. I don't want it to be too much because then it will be too bulky. And then I just cut it down as well. Now, I use my Fabri-Tac glue. Like I said, I love this stuff, you guys. It does not leak. Like with hot glue, I'm like everybody knows I'm always excessive with hot glue. If you watch my videos, the Fabri-Tac glue doesn't leave like the raised the raised like pieces you know you could use Elmer's glue you could use anything but the fabric tech glue worked wonders and I just pull very tight as I glue it on now I have some farmhouse ribbon from Dollar Tree and I cut down two strips and I'm just going to take those two strips and glue them to each end of the rolling pin and that was it for this one you guys I love how simple it is yet yeah, so farmhouse let me know what you guys think Okay, for our next one, you guys, I have a piece of foam board. And this one, I'm going a little bit out of my comfort zone. And I just wanted to show you guys how I created this. So I want to make one of those, like, little mini cathedral tear tray windows. And the arch windows. And obviously, I don't have a laser machine. So I always think of ways to do, like, kind of, like, laser cut projects, but on a budget. So I'm just using my ruler to make the two lines and then I have like this wood circle thing and I'm going to use that to make the arch. So I have my outline of it. So then I just go in the same way and I do like the border of the inside and then I just start to do like the window, like the windows. Like so I do slant lines to make the windows and then I just do different lines to make like each panel. This is not perfect by no means, but this is what I love about like when you create your own decor. It just gives you like something that you're proud of and something like, wow, you created it. And that's what I love what that I did with this, you guys. So I grabbed my hot knife and this thing, it cuts like butter. Trust me, I have burned myself with this and like literally burned my skin off. And I'm just going to cut our, you know, the, the shape out and I cut each little window out. And it looked, you guys, like a, like a little mini cathedral window and I love the way it came out. So once it was all cut out, I grab my nail file and just sand it down a little bit in between like each of the panels because you guys know with foam board it leaves like those little pieces like all hanging out of it. So once I have it sanded down I grab my black acrylic paint and I'm going to just paint this all in black. If you guys want to make this look like a wood stain one you guys could paint it you know like with some brown paint. I just wanted to do it black because that's like the colors of like today's you know today's projects. So once it was painted black, I grab my chippy brush and I grab some plaster chalk paint and I do the, some distressing on it as well. Now to finish our little cathedral window and to give it something, like you know, a little something something, I grab this like little floral ring thing and just made it a circle out of it and then I grab some boxwood and I just glue the boxwood onto the little floral wire, wire circle thing to make a little wreath. I topped it off with a little buffalo check or gingham print bow that I made and then I glued on the wreath to the middle of our little cathedral window and that was it you guys. I love the way this came out and I love that it's not perfect but you could tell what it is. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, for our next one, you guys, I have this piece of muslin that I got from Walmart. And then I have this, like, cow head print thing. And this is just, like, off of Google Im Google Images. So I start off by cutting two of them out because I want to make, like, little mini stuffed pillows. So I line them up and I grab my Fabri-Tac glue. And I glue them one on top of another, but I leave a little opening so I could put some stuffing inside there. Now I'm going to make three different kinds of them you'll see how i designed them but they're all going to be with the same muslim fa muslin fabric now you guys know if you guys watched my video before though i'm using like the stuffing from this big unicorn stuffed animal that my daughter had i mean i'll have stuffing for like years and years to come now i stuff my little pillow and then i'm going to seal it up 
using of course the fabric tech glue again now i wanted to have like the frayed edges so i grabbed my little pokey tool and just around the border of our little mini pillow i am just going to pull it out just to give me those frayed edge um the frayed ends all around our little pillow now to decorate this one i grabbed my distress and ink i think this one is in vintage photo and i am just going to rub the distress and ink all around our little pillow like I told you guys, I made three total, but I didn't want to show you guys that I made the same thing over and over again. So this is the second one. And on this one, I just take like a marker and I'm just doing some like cow print designs or what I consider cow print designs with a marker. And then I'm going to go in with some regular black acrylic paint and I'm just going to paint them in. That's how I did the second one. I think this is my favorite one. I love how this came out. And this is a cool, cool alternative. If you don't have a specific type of fabric and if it works just color it on or draw it right on there now for our third little mini pillow i grabbed some regular black stamp like ink stamps like the ink for the stamps yes and i'm going to distress the whole pillow but then i take my stamps and i stamp out the word moo onto the pillow okay so for our next one i have this little house from dollar general i always wait for pieces like this to go on clearance so i get them for like under a dollar like 50 cents i have gotten some for 25 cents because you can always remake these pieces so i take off that little mom sign i sand it all down and i clean it all up now i'm going to take my plaster chalk paint and i'm going to paint um the inside of our house with plaster chalk paint and then i'm going to stain the roof of our house with some waverly chalk paint I go around the border of the house with Waverly chalk paint as well, just to give me some dis like a distressed look. Now, once I have it all painted up and all dried up, I take this image from my Cricut Design Space. I'm sorry, this is not from this one's not from Cricut Design Space. I find images or I'll make images and I'll glue them up. I'll let you guys know when I do get it on Cricut Design Space, and I just transfer. The image right onto the middle of the house and honestly that was it for this one you guys what i love about today's projects the simplicity of it and how easy and inexpensive we're making today's projects okay so for our next one you guys we're going to grab a red table wood plank and this image that we printed out and cut out and we're going to trace it on you guys if i had a laser cutting machine i wouldn't know how to act because i try to do like laser cut like images like i said like at home but forget about it if i had a laser cut machine i think i would be doing stuff 24 7 but it is what it is maybe i'll invest in one in the future let's see and this was like a little bit of a pain to do but i'm just going to use my craft knife and cut it this whole image out it did take me a little bit of time but once I went over like the pieces over and over again, it did come right off, you guys. It's just more time consuming than it is anything. So I had cut it out and I grabbed a piece of sandpaper and I need to smooth those edges out since they weren't cut perfectly and they were cut with the craft knife. So I go in with some white acrylic paint and I paint the entire image with the white paint. And then once I have it nice and dried, I grab a very thin paintbrush and I start to draw on, like once again, I say what I consider some cow spots. Now, as you guys can see, we're making like a little milk jar. Now, I, I paint the border of the little milk jar as well, just to give it some more dimension and make it really, really pop. Now, I grab my, I have some little mini wood letters. And I grab those little mini wood letters out and I paint them with some black paint, but then I distress them with some white paint just to give it like two contrasts of colors just to make, like I said, everything's just to make it pop more for it won't blend into the milk jar so much. Now taking a ruler to line them up in my crazy gel, like hot, like my crazy gel, what is it? Crazy glue gel gel. Oh my lord, my gel crazy glue. There we go. And these are perfect for like little pieces. And I glue them right on. And that is it for this one, you guys. How cute is this? Okay, on to the next one. I didn't even think this considered DIY. It's more like of a makeover. I had got that. It was like a light up 
like cow thing there was like a like a little t led light on the back of it and i'm just going to sand all that paper off and i'm going to clean it all up and then i'm going to go in with some just regular black apple barrel paint and i'm going to paint the entire thing now obviously once i had it painted it was a little too like just plain for me so i grab up everything paintbrush with some white paint and i do some stitching marks around it and i left this one like this you guys how simple okay so i had like this arrow piece from dollar tree i think this had like another piece to attach to it but i'm not even sure and the staples were very deep in there so i'm just gonna take the staples off and i am just going to fill up those holes a little bit it doesn't matter if you fill up the holes or not it just that it was like really indented inside there that's the only reason why i'm filling it up a little bit so i'm going to grab my black paint again and i'm going to play paint <laughs> i can't speak again you guys i'm going to paint our entire arrow now once i have it painted i have my wood letters from michael's i believe these are from dollar general and dollar tree carry letters for only a dollar 25 now and i take out the word the letters for the to spell the word farm now i am going to take our letters and i'm going to paint them with some white paint and then i'm going to take some antique wax and i'm going to distress all around the letters like i said just to make the letters pop a little bit more then i take the letters and i glue them onto our little arrow and that is it for this one you guys like i said today's projects are so simple so easy anybody can make them let me know what you guys think of this another piece for our decor okay on our last one you guys i'm grabbing some of this black and white twine and these are all beads from dollar tree i love that dollar tree carries beads now and they're already painted so you do not have to paint them i just put a piece of tape at the end of the twine and i'm just going to add the beads right on string the beads right onto there just going in the pattern black white black brown black white black brown back and forth until i get it the desired length now once i have them beaded onto there I grabbed this like little cardboard house shape. This came from a Dollar Tree sign. You guys could cut it out with foam board or anything or even if you guys have a wood piece. I paint it using some plaster Waverly chalk paint. And then I am going to take some black paint and I'm just going to go around the house just to give it a little bit more dimension. Now I grab my ink pad and my stamps and i am just going to stamp on the word home and then using my hole puncher i just make a hole at the top like the the top of the peak of the house in the middle now that would be for one end of our wood bead garland now for the other end i just made a tassel i just showed you guys a little bit with some ribbons in it and then i put the tassel on one end of our garland and our home sign at the other end of the garland and then just to top off to top it all off i just made a little bow and i attached it to um the one of the ends where the house is at and that was it for this one you guys how cute is this
I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and turn on that bell notification to be notified when I post my next video. In the description box, you can find the link for the Buy Me A Coffee website if you want to support my channel. Just by watching my channel, uh, you guys support me so much, and I want to let you guys know that I appreciate every single one of you. As I always say, this world could throw you twists and turns, but always make good choices. To the next one, you guys.